the subscribe button if you are here for the second time or more welcome back and again if you don't have the notification bell click to kindly do so so you know as and when a new video is uploaded uh welcome to a new vlog welcome 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 um i'm gonna be vlogging a lot because obviously i have more time on my hands so yeah let's get going i don't want to be late because it's currently it's currently 20 past three 20 past three so i know my hair is crying for me to take it down i will i will i will take it down i just have a number of reasons why i haven't taken it down but i will i will i will <laughs> let's go get this day started I'm just doing a grocery haul uh, from uh, Bluff Meat. I just bought 18 eggs. I bought this because we still have 30 eggs. We still have the 30 eggs, so this is just to add on. Then I changed. Usually I buy the other one, the other Jimmy infused uh, sauce. This time it's the Shisanyama. Then I bought meatballs, and I've got bacon, and I've got mince, and I've got. Oh, I need deliverance. Guess I'm not from this. One thing about me, kidneys, I love to make a kidney stew. Then I've got this lemon and herb Amina's um, marinade. I'm trying it out for the very first time. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I've got cheese for when I make the meatballs with spaghetti for salami. She loves those. And I've got meats. I've got, it's beef chuck. This is beef chuck. And I've got, uh, it's it basically, it's been these livers. So I love a good liver. I love a good liver chill. I've got Viennas, that's for salami. I've got Poloni. Guys, I don't even eat Viennas and Poloni. It's really just for salami. And I've got rolls for when I make her hot dogs. And I've got drummets because I'm going to make her wings. Guys, I'm living for salami at this point in time. And I've taken out these beef fillets because I bought these at Checkers though. These breast fillets because I'm going to be doing a spicy rice kind of situation so that's what i got from bluff it came to about 800 bucks which i'm not complaining about that's really cheap because i bought everything that i wanted and more so yeah let's get cooking guys i'm just here at the atrium i'm gonna work at at the virgin answer at the atrium it is currently 16:51. i need to head back home to cook urgently i'm here to collect a cash send and i just thought let me hit two birds with one stone and just work out um because king's park doesn't really have much to offer they don't have atms so i'm here yes yeah we're gonna work out and we're gonna get some cash monies <laughs> and then go home and cook which is not so fun i'm just shaking because i just saw something just in the sun past five i'll tell you guys about what happened i'm so disappointed at this man and even to be south african at this point because wow hi guys welcome 
welcome to a new day of the vlog i hope that i am fitting on the frame but i it is currently 10 to 4 um there's no shading at 4 i'm trying to pick up my daughter i'm trying to have a bath i'm trying to i just cooked meatballs and spaghetti which is her favorite um i'm gonna now go and uh take a bath um and i'm trying to also go print at her show and tell because today's thursday so every friday they have show and tell so i've already gone through it with her but i need to print it out so that she can present it tomorrow and then i am going to pick her up i don't know excuse me if i'm gonna have time to pick her up if i'm gonna make time because they close the school at five so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to go to windermere center because i'm gonna print there at the postnet and i also want to go and buy some things um to add as what's the word to garnish my dish because i also have a cooking page please can you kindly follow my cooking page it's called dining with ne i'm going to leave it down on the description box as well as on the screen so please follow my cooking page so i need to garnish it with a uh, uh, basil and maybe thyme i don't know and i also need to buy mustard because tomorrow i'm trying out that uh bandless onion burger from tiktok so i'm going to show you guys that as well i'm going to show you guys how my meal looks like um yeah so now it's 10 to 4 if i can shower and be out here by 5 past 4 i can make it to windermere center because it's relatively close windermere center i can dash in print because guys i hate traveling with my daughter because she's in a handful she's a handful and right now at this age she wants to buy this she wants to buy that and i can't leave her in the car and her nanny is not here so i can't leave her alone so essentially if i don't make it like if i don't make it at the house by five past four i'm gonna have to pick her up first and then go to windermere because i hate picking her up late and i hate being the last parent to pick her up so i'm gonna have to make do yeah and load shedding is also a problem i'm trying to not come back before like five because what i'm gonna do in the house with no electricity is just boring so i've just finished cleaning i've finished cooking i'm gonna take some content and then i'm going to bath now be at the house come back i mean go to windermere or pick her up all of that guys my mind is a mess but anyway i just wanted to wait for welcome you guys to a new day of the vlog i love you guys so much i'm going to show you guys what i made i uh, love you and let's catch up when i am done picking her up and possibly at windermere subscribe <laughs> hi guys i'm here now at windermere center um I ended up picking up my culprit here, salami, um, because I left the house at like half past four, so it was getting late. I couldn't leave her to be like the only child left at school. So now we're just going to go and print out that show and tell stuff first, then go to checkers because it closes later. Then I also want to stash up on my uh, weekend liquor. <laughs> I want to stash up because I don't want to drive out because I'm also doing a sit-down video. I like to um, drink a little sum, 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 sum when I'm recording those. So I'm just going to step in and do that. Um, I'll see you guys when we're inside. Mwah. Get to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Okay. Oh, You're drawing by your crash guard. Hang it. Yes, I'm a crash guard. I'm right. Nothing else, just crash guard. I've got time to crack up all the little bit. Ah, I have no for you and crash guard. Ah, one thing about you, silly. I don't think they have it. I don't think they have it. Stop rocking. There's all the children's things. They don't have crash guard. I think we must go to just came. Okay, I'm gonna hit the monkey. Hi guys, welcome to a new day of the vlog. Today is Saturday. We are currently um we're going through something because Solami is seeing the monkeys and she's a bit like distraught. But we are now on our way to the seafood market, which is on Springfield Road, Alpine. And then we're also gonna head over to um bluff meats i want to buy the patties because i'm making the flying dutchman burger and also we're going to go to woolies to buy some jalapenos or jalapenos um um i feel like i'm forgetting something oh we're also going to buy and buy we're going to go and buy me some liquor because the other day when i went to buy liquor i went in and i got a wine but i just want to buy 
some cold savannah you know like savannah is so bad for my health and for my fupa but damn it's just very affordable like it's an affordable drink that's really nice doesn't have a lot of sugar it's just a good drink that is really affordable because i know they have a special where you buy two i'm recording a youtube video why won't you see anyway um yeah we're gonna go and buy me some liquor i just wanted to welcome you guys to a new day of the vlog if you have not subscribed till this point please 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 subscribe anyway we don't have water at the complex this is now the third time this is happening this week um i don't understand what's happening but um i hope that they have it under control uh, luckily for me we also have to buy water that's what i'm forgetting we have to buy um jalapenos water um yeah luckily for me i always have stored water because um last time we had this crisis the water was gone for like a very significant amount of time so now i don't want to be caught off guard especially because i have a child you can't have a child and not have water i think as an adult you can control your water intake or you can control the things this one wants to poop she wants to bath she wants to do this and that so yeah i'm gonna catch you guys when i get to I think first you're gonna go and get me a baby. That's the first thing. <laughs> I think there is the jalapenos. I don't think they have them in this young store. Maybe I could just get some habanero sauce. I don't know. There we go. Just got chair to the sea. Just got chair to the seafood market. It is currently. Okay, I can't see. Okay, it is currently 14:20 so it's my first time here i'm just interested to see what offerings they have i want to buy some shrimps and prawns and yeah make that for tomorrow's sunday dish this is the special i told you guys about and i love me a special okay period <laughs> i'm just taking a girl walk <laughs> Oyster box, just a quick catch up with my mentor, quick meeting, and we're gonna be off to drop her at the airport. But how gorgeous is this view, my loves? I'm so sorry if it was a bit sketchy at first. When I got into the lift, I really couldn't wipe my camera. It's actually I was running late. But yeah, hey guys, it is currently Friday. Oh, this beautiful frame never stopped dreaming. Just got my delivery from the pickers. Woo, we're gonna be doing a young. I was just replenishing some grocery items. It's really nothing major. Oh, child. Ooh, this is just some Colgate, some bread, some of Salami's favorite snacks. Well, it's these biscuits. She loves these biscuits. I bought the rusks. I was trying to buy the biscuits and I bought the rusks by mistake so she'll be happy to see this and i'm making sticky wings i wanted that mrs balls and that mayo so i'm just gonna be happy with the mangoes and the apples that's just for her snack box and i've got oh guys i want to plug you with this this is it smells so so i wanted to plug you guys with this charcoal colgate uh toothpaste um it's quite effective i've only been using it for a short while but it's been effective thus far so yeah i'm gonna chat to you guys when i'm getting dressed these prices are disgusting Hi guys, it is currently Saturday, um, it is the, I'm not sure the date, but it is currently Saturday and I am going to work. Uh, first, I need some petrol, so I'm just stopping by here on Florida to just get myself sorted. And yeah, I'll take you guys with me, I'm not sure for how long because I'm obviously going to be working, even though I'm my own boss, but I have to respect some savings and it's quite a hectic day today. Son, I'm trying to reverse park, parallel park. Oh, this G-Wagon. God, you know what? You know my heart. You know my heart. 
sorry let me make eye contact but god knows my heart i need that car <laughs> please god i need this car it's you again guys like i think i'm in an era where i want all the cars that i've ever found to be attractive and dot in for myself like i want the life that my exes live you know because those guys are money money but i want to be the girl with the money you know what i'm saying so i'll take you guys with me when we get to hilton um i can't really take um content of the celebrities because their privacy is important so yeah we'll chat when we get there we know baba skip yes sirs. well done oh man yes 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 so i'm gonna see you guys when we're at hilton bye I'm at work now. Hi guys, welcome to Monday. Monday, today is Monday. Welcome to Monday. Today is the day of the upload. I am just doing an outro quickly because obviously, what is a vlog with Arisa down from me, child? Good morning, happy Monday, um, happy Feb. I believe the last time we spoke was in Jan. Yes happy feb i'm currently drinking my chia seeds with warm water lemon and honey so it's monday it's a new week it's a fresh new opportunity and fresh clean slate to start over i'm just here to do an outro guys i hope by now you would have subscribed to the channel i think on numerous counts i kept saying please subscribe because sometimes you know like the work that you put in as a youtuber is it's a, a lot of behind the scenes work and efforts it really is not easy to sit to record to stop your life to record to edit to upload it is a lot of work but what does make it worth it is that people appreciate your craft and you see in growth and people subscribe people hit the notification bell people comment and if there's one thing that i really appreciate you guys you guys really comment i'm really appreciative of that because honestly i've been seeing all the comments i've been seeing all the love and i really appreciate it none of it goes unnoticed because that also increases the engagement and it makes youtube recommend my videos to other people so even if it's a heart even if it's a smile even if it's a star even if it's this even if it's any positive emoji even it counts so i really appreciate it personally i had to come and say that because i know like I have not said it before i've said please comment but i've never come back and said thank you actually for commenting because i can see the love i can see the heart some of you guys comment even before you watch the videos and i really appreciate that i just want to close my door because it's going to make noise for you guys and i don't want us to get distracted intro is not going to be i mean this outro is not going to be long um i'm just here to explain to you guys what happened that day when i said something alarming happened a fight broke out i thought let me just share it with my subbies because i was busy recording when it took place so anyway i was at checkers as you guys saw i went to the atrium and i went to checkers to quickly get myself some like mini groceries and stuff like that so as i'm there this lady had put her stuff on the counter she forgot toilet roll and she went back for it and then there was this couple standing behind me and there was another lady before me and that lady who left her stuff on the counter was supposed to come before me but because i had already started um i had already started the process of un uh, packing my stuff and it was getting paid for so she was waiting for me and the lady before me told me no lo sisi was here so she'd just gone back to get something i she forgot something on one of the aisles so i was like i'd bet so i tell this gentleman behind me i'm like sir and this woman forgot something so she actually assumes my place in the queue so she's gonna come before you and he starts being aggro he's like no that's not how it works i'm sorry that's not how it works i'm sorry um if you leave your stuff unattended i said no but it's not unattended it is attended to by me and this lady before me the lady before me was quite nonchalant she didn't really care she just wanted to be out the shop i don't blame her because she had already said her bits she had already said her piece and she just left and i don't think she thought things would escalate to that point this gentleman is there with his wife and his newborn kid because this kid is roughly like less than six months if i just had a quick look um he's there with his wife and he's being so embarrassing because number one you're a man you this is an old woman she's like an old woman i think she's maybe in her late 50s or early 60s if i just like look at her and estimate she's an old woman she's there it is her place in the queue and people do that all the time so i didn't know what like his problem was he's like no i'm sorry he then proceeds after i finish paying this lady asks to like come 
forward because her stuff is already there he then says no you can't move forward and his wife is not even um talking to him or talking him out of his bad attitude and bad behavior she then proceeds like this gentleman does not speak zulu i said to her ma come this side i said in zulu i said ma come this side um just avoid the drama just come this side pay for your stuff go i'm gonna let you in i let her in i push my trolley to the side i let her in the front because you know the till it has that queue and then it has the front where there's the the person is packing the plastic packets and whatever that's like the front so i let her come through the front and i just um quickly take my stuff this guy then and i tell him and i'm like what you're doing is just disgusting because number one you're a man and as as a man you're supposed to actually give people like an old woman a pregnant woman you're supposed to give them first preference if you're in a bus you stand for them it's just etiquette it's just common decency it's just it's it's a human level skill like you don't need to be an advanced human to practice those things my guy is like very you know like he's getting worked up now like i can see that he's getting worked up and i'm like hey you know what let me actually stand even though i'm done let me stand and wait because I want to protect this old woman because now he's starting to get very aggro as this woman is moving her things forward because they were already on that young till thing but they were pushed to the side as she's grabbing her things to push them forward he grabs them back and he pushes them at the back and i'm like damn this is when i'm like you know what and also guys um an elderly woman like that even me like when i am in an altercation or like if i'm arguing it out with someone english is not my mother language it's not my mother tongue it's not my first language it's not my i mean it's not my home language and so naturally if i'm fighting or if i'm in a situation where there's a disagreement i'm gonna want to resort to zulu and unfortunately in this country if there's an altercation between a black and a non-black the black person is always assumed to be wrong so i'm like you know what if i leave and this woman now takes it to the top via the neck it's going to look as though she's an angry, bitter black woman who is in the wrong and she will have no defense. She needed a neutral person to stand there and be like, no, but she was here because also the cashier, I think she's either scared to lose her job or she, I think because of apartheid, apartheid set us back so much that mentally we feel like we should always surrender our rights. We should always surrender even in a, in a fight where we are right and we need to be the one um, that is actually, you know, winning the fight we want to surrender because we've been taught that we are the minority always so i think the cashier she knew the whole story but she wasn't engaging as much as i think she should have because essentially she's the one who knows exactly what went down and she was quiet she's as quiet as a church mice mouse is is a is church mouse the quiet one i don't know it's just a cricket face okay the church mouse is poor okay she's quiet and it's a cricket fest. There's no word from her at all. This now becomes a big fight because now Umama is swearing. Because this guy pushed her. He physically pushed her. And I saw this. Physically pushes her. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, excuse me, sir. Why would you manhandle an old woman, an elderly grown woman, a woman generally, period. But this woman is old enough to be your mother. Why would you actually be manhandling this person? And I'm like, can you stop behaving like a hooligan? And then he proceeds to all, oh, and then Umama pushes him back, and Umama takes out. She takes out her phone. And she's like, "I'm gonna record you. Stop what you're doing." You know, um, she's like, here and there, she's giving vernac. Here and there, she's giving English, and I'm there, like, just maintaining my stance that she is right. She had her stuff already here, and I came after her but because i had already started paying for my stuff essentially she should have taken my place and i was the one who asked her and ma saying is it like like no it's okay then i'm because i also had like very few items i think i just came to buy one or two things literally quite literally so she's like no it's okay and then yeah we proceed get yeah, in that in that whole little fight this thing gets physical because now the people at the mall or at checkers are now holding this guy back because now this guy is wanting to throw hands at oh mama guys are so disgusted and the wife she starts butting in and i'm like man your husband is behaving in a very unruly manner your husband is behaving like a hooligan please rather not say anything because at this point i'd rather you keep quiet or calm him down because what he's doing is embarrassing the both of you and the kid and it seems like a girl child but even if it was a boy child you're behaving like that in public 
and then he resorts to say oh is it because you're black you think you can do this because you're black i'm like this is not even a racial war but since you want to put it in let's actually take it there and i'm like when I, you want to behave like this because you are not black because I told Umama in Zulu that she must come here because I wanted her to avoid the drama of you now wanting to physically handle her. So I thought to myself, let her come here. And she also didn't have an awful lot of items. She had a few items. Why is this a thing? Like, and I'm sure he could have gone to any other aisle that was less busy, but he chose. And I'm thinking you could have avoided this entire scandal. You could have actually have bought your stuff, paid for them and been out the mall, but you'd rather be here creating a big woo-ha, a big row-row in front of people acting like an ass. I was so disappointed. I actually got so angry. The manager came there. The cash is quiet. Umama is angry. She's too angry to speak. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to speak on behalf of Umama. And people were asking me, did you come with her? I said, I didn't come with her, but someone needs to do right by Umama. Because at the end of the day, I understand why Umama is being so adamant about paying there. Because they said, no, Mama, why don't you go pay there? No, but I was like, why doesn't he go pay somewhere else? Because now you are, you are issuing out the wrong message. Now you're saying that this guy is right. First of all, he pushed her. He pushed her just to pay. I'm like, guys, there's no way I'm that desperate to pay for my stuff. There's no way I'm that desperate. I can always go to another aisle. I can always wait it out. There's no way I'm going to be that desperate. Now I'm getting into physical altercations in front of my family. And this guy's doing this. He's moving sus like this on a random Thursday. He's sober. He's with his family. He's with his young infant. He's behaving like an ass. I said, there's no way. I stayed behind. I said, cut the cameras because I was busy vlogging. I said, cut the cameras. I am actually going to stand up. I'm going to stand on business, 10 toes down, and get to sana, 10 fingers on the Bible. I'm going to stand in business. I'm going to stand behind this mama. And I did. And so eventually this guy was pulled back by some of the other guys. I don't know. Some guys at checkers pulled him back. They're like, no, it's not worth it. Don't do this. But he himself couldn't reason. I'm like, guys, the men we marry, the men we have kids with, you do that. You do that. My brother, you will in fact, I don't think we'd ever be married with such a person because there must have been other red flags during dating phase that would have shown me that I'm actually with an ass. This guy is a two-pack of ass. I'm like, there is no way he is this desperate to pay. He doesn't even want to wait it out as a gentleman. Because, he, I mean, he's far from being a gentleman, but as a man? Like I said, you don't need to get a degree to be you know, inclined with this kind of information. You don't need to get a diploma. You don't need to, you don't need to go to school for this. This is basic human skills that we all know. Unless you grew up in a hood rat setup. I was so angry. I think I'm getting re-angry again. Like I'm getting re-angry, reworked up because what the hell was that? Anyway, I was very proud of myself because I was like, you know what? If there's one thing about me, because also this mama said, you know what? No, a lesson needs to be taught here. I could very well go pay. If he was more like, calm if it was more rational maybe we could have reached a consensus we could have reached mutual grounds but now because he's choosing to physically mishandle me and verbally be abusive i will actually be paying at this very till i said bet i said i'm gonna wait for you so i ushered her out of the mall she was angry she was shaking i actually walked her out of the mall to make sure that she's fine i'm like ma are you fine because i was scared that he would come after her because he's literally a hooligan of notes he's barbaric so I was like, let me just take her outside. So before I went to gym, I thought it was monkeys. Before I took her, before I went to gym, I took her outside to make sure that she was sorted. And she said she's fine. And I was like, bless my soul. But I hate to think that we live in a country like that, where we still have men that are like that. Despite the color, the race, it could have very well been another black man. Because there's instances where there's a fellow black man who's acting sus with a fellow black woman. I don't understand at which point as a man you decide it's okay to just move sus to move like an ass like that i don't get it but anyway i had a very eventful week um i couldn't take you guys with me all the way throughout i got a very big contract Ooh, i think if you follow me on instagram you know that and i don't know man you know i remember a time when i started my travel agency because i've got a travel agency can be follow it's called la vida uh concierge and events i'm gonna attach the instagram page below kindly follow my page i'm gonna be giving you guys some exciting content i know i haven't posted for a while and that's purely because i feel like the contracts that i've been getting are purely from referrals and not from like social media marketing and i remember like uh, this other man that i used to work for literally calling this other man because i started invoicing them because essentially what i'm doing is something that i used to do in my nine to five 
this man i used to work for was so bitter i remember he called this other guy and he said don't work with aneliswa um he was actually very angry that i invoiced you know and luckily i had already been paid thank goodness because i don't think he would have paid me so i had already been paid and he got so angry because he had to authorize the payments and he's like why is Annalisa working here why is Annalisa invoicing us i'm a very big professional guys even if you and i uh had taken each other to court because you didn't pay me or even if you and i have had an altercation business is business and if you know accounting you know that business is a completely separate entity to the actual natural person that you're dealing with a natural person is different from the actual entity so i have that same thought process when i handle business if i have something that you and i had fought about disagreed about or didn't agree on i'm not going to bring that energy onto the business front because that is literally my bread and butter and i don't gamble with my bread and butter if you know me you know so anyway, brother man was like, don't work with Annalisa. And I remember being so sad, but I also remember coming to myself, towards myself, pulling myself towards myself and being like, no one can ever stand in the way of a God-ordained thing. If it's God-ordained, it will proceed with or without the support of the people that you thought would support you. You don't need that person. You don't need... And you know, like, even, like, of late, recently, there's a certain person that also, like, I've been trying to work with him, blah, blah, blah trying to reach out to them like we are in jail and jumundu corner is just like we are in jail you know what i'm saying but i was also saying this morning like no one can stand in the way of a god ordained thing whether or not you want to work with me or you don't want to work with me god is going to supply my needs according to his riches in glory and besides the whole thing of god is gonna pull through for me i also feel like people get arrogant and think that they can play god in this life that we live but you see god is not in the business of being petty he is not you think he's going to buy into petty fights like for example like me and this guy that i'm telling you about that phoned the effort of you picked up the phone and fighting now today he actually is not even on talking terms with this person that he was calling to say because the truth revealed itself that he actually is the one he's the toxic one you know what i'm saying so again uh, I, I i look back i look at my life i look at the, the the contracts that i'm getting i'm like god thank you that you show yourself true every time and you show yourself as god every time and you show me that if god opens a door no man can shut it and if god shuts a door no man can open that door and if god says i have given you something it is literally god given and i often joke about how you can build in silence and still build nonsense i'm not joking like it's not a joke it's actually something that i live by you can build in silence and still build nonsense that's me as for me i will share i'm not saying oversharing is good by any means but i share certain things about my life and I'm learning not to overshare because there's sharing and there's oversharing and there's also sharing to the wrong people. And I think if you have the spirit of discernment, the Holy Spirit will tell you not to tell such a person X, Y, Z or not to tell such a person A, B, C. And think of a time, even you as my, like, sus my subscriber watching this video, there must have been instances where you didn't tell anyone anything about something that you were planning, but it still didn't come to fruition. And there's also in the same breath, is something that you had uh told people and it wasn't confirmed and it still came to pass so guys essentially i feel like if god gives you a thing it's yours people can do whatever they want they can say whatever they want but if it's yours it's yours god will give it to you and i'm not saying go now put your things on blast go over share no but there's certain things that you can share and it's okay to share them and really again use a discretion use a discernment spirit because not everyone needs to hear about your successes not everyone needs to hear about your wins you know what i'm saying so within reason to share but don't think because you're sharing nothing, your life is not going to be this prosperous thing. Because sometimes you do need to share to get help. Like for me, when I share things with my mentor, she can expand on an idea that was this small. She can expand it to bigger and greater heights. So if I wasn't sharing now, I'm like literally sitting in silence because I'm thinking, Not everyone, we have monazela, and not everyone in the same breath is happy for you. So you must use your discernment spirits. Make sure that you use your discernment spirits at all times like don't leave that thing at home take it with you put it around your neck take it with you everywhere with your friends with your lovers with anything and lastly i also wanted to mention that me and my ex spoke we reached out to one and well i reached out to him because i think therapy is teaching me to confront my demons i'm not calling him a demon but i'm saying to confront the things that 
that, that I was afraid to confront, you know, that's what I mean by confronting my demons. And we spoke so well and we let each other go amicably because I feel like last year when we broke up, there was a whole lot of things. There was Dubai that he didn't fulfill, that he didn't see through. I was angry. I decided he's ghosting me. I'm going to ghost back. But guys, the thing about me is that naturally I'm not a ghoster. And if I ghost you and it's for a good reason, then by all means, that's perfect. But him and I had such beautiful moments. We shared beautiful moments, beautiful memories. We loved each other. I think we still love each other, but we just can't be together. And I felt like there's value in us talking things through. There's value in us revisiting, you know, those wounds that I have, those questions that I needed answered. And he answered those questions. Well, to some degree, because I, I think that there's certain things that I didn't express fully because I think when you are given a chance or a platform to speak, especially if it's via text, there's very little that you can say. I have a lot to say, but I think I did get through the main things and I'm happy that I did. And and he says, you know, he knows that I've moved on, but he, he was still under the impression that I was still dating that guy, but I'm not and I'm happy and I want to be single. I, I was telling God, I said, God, I want to be single for like a year or two um, and raise my daughter and focus on new hobbies and stand on business and work and get new business and be celibate. I am very hell bent on being celibate. Um, I want to be celibate. I want to be more closer to God. I want to raise my child better. Not that there was anything wrong with the way I was doing it, but you, there's always room for improvement. You can always do better. So I want to do all those things. I want to replenish myself. And someone else came back into my life like an ex of mine. But I also told him that I'm not ready for... He's not even an ex. Like he's someone we never actually physically got intimate. There's a lot of those in my life because I i don't like to rush into like intimacy, sexual intimacy. So he came back into my life. Um saying he wants to try it out again um as much as we never got intimate um we had had a good decent bond so he's like he wants to try again i said my man i'm not ready i'm really not ready um i also had another guy that was like wanting me to be his girlfriend i said i'm not ready guys i want to undergo therapy i want to undergo at least six sessions and see what i feel from there you know um i'm going for another session again this week but I want to go through like therapy. I like this. I'm making money for myself. I'm not depending on a man. I never have depended on a man solely or fully to take care of me financially. But I have depended on my ex. And I think a lot of that dependency created Unga's tand. You know, I, they were, I should have walked away sooner, but because I was so reliant on the money, I I I I took my self love and I threw it away into the river somewhere, and I would convince myself that you know as soon as I've done X Y Z I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get out I'm gonna get out, but it just never happened. Even after X Y Z were done, I think there was a very huge element of thinking I could reconcile the ex of mine that I met initially that really was genuinely into me versus the one that is now at current i thought i could bring back that ex of mine that man that i found to be so attractive that was loving that was warm that was soft and then i think at some point i thought to myself it's okay if he doesn't love me but if he wants to take care of me still it's fine because i was in like a very financially overstretched season um at the time and you know i walked away I walked away still being in a financially overstretched season and I remember how my pastor once prophesied and said there's someone in this room that is so heavily reliant on someone and has made them her mini god and God is saying to that person she needs to leave so she can see how good it can get on the other side of fear on the other side of thinking that this person is the alpha in her life and God has greater in store for this person, but she needs to be brave enough to let go. Because God does not want to share the glory with that particular person. God wants to have the glory to himself. And I remember hearing that and not liking it at all. 
I said, my pastor, I'm not coming back to this prayer. One drop. And I stopped going to prayers. I stopped that day. I actually haven't gone back. I'm going to go back now. But I stopped that day because what he said, you know, and you know someone's talking about you. And one thing about my pastor, I know for a fact that he knew he was talking to me, but he didn't want to embarrass me. And he doesn't know anything about my life. My pastor does not even follow me on Instagram. He doesn't know anything. But he's just very gifted prophetically. And I know he's prophesied on me before. I remember he called me to say, I'm at this place doing this, doing this. And he said, go home. And I really was there at that place doing that's what he was saying. Yay. I, I didn't go home. What do I care? <laughs> I just toned down. Because I was at a party. I was drinking. And he, and he said, go home. Like, just don't partake in things like that you know but anyway i let go during a season of still being financially overstretched not knowing what the hell i'm gonna do because guys i did not jump from my relationship to the relationship that i had in december i think i spoke about that i actually waited for a good few weeks months even before in fact months because i hadn't seen my ex since july august september october november december is when i started dating this guy chan we broke up and we never were intimate so what i'm trying to say is i didn't jump from one relationship to another even though that the same relationship was beautiful was coming along well but i also feel like for me it didn't make sense to stay because i felt like this is not for me i know what i prayed for to god and this is not it it doesn't match my prayers and i'm gonna walk away quickly because the longer i stay here in this this what looks like an the opposite of what i prayed for or what looks like it because sometimes in your praying season you get like a similar um thing to what you were praying for but it's not it so it looked from from a distance it looked like what i was asking for but when i drew closer it was not what i wanted and it was not what i needed and it was not what i prayed for so i was like the longer i stay in this similar prayer that i think is answered is the longer it will take for me to reach the real thing so let me let go and find the real thing. By all means, I'm not looking for a relationship. Especially not this year. This year is very much about me building, growing. I want to be so financially independent that I never subject myself to what I subjected myself to last time. Guys, when I read the messages I wrote that man, I'm like, Like I actually, I reduced myself to that level. I reduced myself to that level i said there's no way my girl a part of this is i'm dealt with trauma daddy issues a part of this is also not being financially sound and financially capable and independent because if you had that you would not be you would not have been in that place of begging and reducing yourself lapping but he apologized for it i mean he did um he did and i got my closure and i don't think he's a bad person uh, entirely because he had really helped me he did a lot of good with me for me um i think life got in the way and there's a lot of other factors that i had to consider and also i can never always cast the blame on the next person i also have to be accountable because there was a time where he showed me that he wasn't interested but i being adamant to force is in the foster force i mean yeah force yeah force i forced and i shouldn't have but i forgive myself i didn't know any better but now i do um and i don't want to date and i'm okay with that and i'm not angry i'm healed i'm in the process of healing my adult with child traumas i am in the process of healing and forgiving myself and those that have wronged me and the ones that i have wronged um excuse me i get very emotional because therapy has just been very emotional for me i'm confronting things that happened when i was three four two and realizing that i was a hurt child and i just grew up with that hurt and it just carried on and and i just carried on because i had no choice like it literally i had to survive you know like i had to survive so i didn't heal like from the traumas that happened and there were so many so facing those facts is is hard but it has to be done um 
but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog um the next video that will be up will be um a get to know me tag i will upload that on sunday and i have a big surprise for you guys on sunday when i do upload and um i'll see you guys in the next video i love you guys so much before i start bawling out and just crying non-stop i love you please don't forget to subscribe share comment like thank you so much goodbye Mwah.